This is how to block apps and extensions in the Google Admin Console. So I'm logged into the Admin Console with my controller account. I'm going to go into Device Management. <clears throat> I'm going to click on Chrome Management over here on the left. When this screen loads, I'm going to go into User Settings. Once user settings loads, I'm going to scroll down to the area that says apps and extensions, and then I'm going to be looking for this little guy right here, allow or block all apps and extensions. Now, real quick, you have two options here. You can do what's called a whitelist or what is called a blacklist. So a whitelist is basically everything is blocked except the ones that you put on the list. And then a blacklist is exactly the opposite. Everything is allowed except the ones that you put on a list. Now this um, school has it set on allow all apps and extensions except the ones I block. So that would effectively be a blacklist. And I'm gonna leave that like that because I don't wanna mess with their settings. But then what that allows me to do is to go to here, allow apps and, ex allow apps and extensions and click on manage and then I will get this list. So the ones that are already being blocked are here on the right. As you can see, there are a whole lot of Nicolas Cage apps and extensions um, that replace every picture on the internet with a picture of Nicolas Cage, which is kind of creepy. Um, so I'm gonna add another one. So to add one, I come over here to the Chrome Web Store and I just search for the app or extension that I'm wanting to block. Now the disadvantage here is obviously I have to know what it's called. Um, so if you don't, this probably isn't going to work for you, but let's, I don't have Cageify on here, so I'm going to add this one. So I click add, pops it over to my block list, and then I click save. And then at the bottom of my admin console, I click save again. And then what that does is it adds it back to the block list. So then if a kid goes to the Chrome web store and they try to install Cageify, they're going to get a message that says that is not allowed on this domain. So that's how to block apps and extensions.